Hey guys, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. We're talking about the goodness of God. God is good all the time. All the time, God is good. It's his very nature. And we need to receive that. We need to, 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 to know him for that. God is wonderful to us. We're looking at Ephesians chapter 1. We're kind of breaking this down. We found out the first day that he has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. We found out second of all that he has chosen us. That was on Tuesday. On Wednesday we found out that we are predestined. And how are we predestined? It's through the plan of salvation that was established before the foundations of the earth. Hallelujah. Today, notice this, starting with verse five, uh, 6, I'm sorry. It says, to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he has made us accepted in the beloved. I'm going to read it again. To the praise of the glory of his grace. Grace is favor. He favors us. It says, to the praise of the glory of his grace by which he made us accepted in the beloved. Now, uh, he brought us into grace, into his favor, and made us objects of his favor in Christ. Does that make sense? And let me say it again. He's brought us into his grace brought us into his favor. Why? Because like I told you yesterday, we become the sons of God. The, the Bible says that, that Jesus died for us to bring many sons to, to, of glory to him, right? It tells us that um, in Romans chapter 8, it says that his, his uh, spirit bears witness with our spirit uh, that we are children of God. He's made us that way. We have been adopted into the family of God. Amen. Right? And so here it says, To the praise of his glory, of his grace, his favor, by which he has made us accepted in the beloved. Now, beloved is capital B there, so it's in Christ. Remember John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. See, that's where this all comes from. That's the grace that is on us when we accept that plan of salvation that was established before the foundations of the earth. We then become the chosen elect predestined children of God because of that chosen elect predestined plan of salvation that we just need to accept. Repent and accept that and, and that's what happens. And now we are accepted into his family. Hallelujah. Doesn't get any better than that. I'm going to go to another one. Let's, um, and let me jump back in my notes here a little bit. Number five, a fifth thing that we find out about the goodness of God is he has redeemed us. Notice in uh, verse seven here, it says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. Wow. In him, there's that in him again. Again, those of us who accept or choose this plan of salvation, we are in him, we have redemption. You know what redemption means? It means we're redeemed. In other words, it's kind of like you going to the store and buying a loaf of bread. What you do is you take your money and you redeem that bread. You pay for that bread and it now becomes yours. Jesus paid for us with his precious blood. He paid for us and redeemed us to himself. But notice, he redeemed us through his blood and the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. The riches of his favor. His favor is on us because remember, just a minute ago we found out that we are accepted of him. He has made us accepted into the family. It's because of this grace that he has on us. Wow, so much to learn here. Do you see the goodness of God as we break this scripture down? He loves you so much. He was willing to die for you, amen, and for me. Just know, Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.